This video demonstrates how to define a reinforced concrete voided slab. After starting the program, we'll start a new uh, section from a template, um, from the US section template. Okay. okay, now we're going to add some titles. And the section title is going to be voided slab section. And the subtitle is going to be example 2.2. And I need to change the job number also to 2.2. So now we can actually start to define our section. So I go up to creating a new section element, which is a parametric shape, which is 1200 millimeters by 900. I'm going to make the centroid of this the reference axis. And I'm going to set that reference axis to be 0, .0 and the material to be 32 grade concrete. I'm also going to specify that the edges of the section are part of a continuous slab. And to make sure everyone knows this, I'm going to add some notes to my file to say that uh, the, the section is part of a wide slab the vertical boundary lines being marked as continuous so that the torsion properties are correctly calculated. I'm now going to add in a new parametric shape which is a circle. It is uh, 550 millimeters in diameter. This is going to be the hole in my slab so I'm going to make this concentric and it's a void so therefore it remains as a void. So all that's left to do now is a reinforcement. I want to reinforce faces with bars at exact spacing as 100 millimeters and bar mark 45. Clicking on the face, the cover is 50 millimeters and my bars appear. And that's all there is to define in this section. All we're left to do now is to save this file with an appropriate name and exit the program.